Wouldn't you just love to see Ripple's XRP trading at $10 per coin? Moving from the current 50 cents per coin that we're seeing all the way up, 20x increasing to that $10 mark. Well, a lot of people believe that that's a possibility. Now, I also agree with them. It is a possibility, but it's probably not something that we're going to be seeing anytime soon. It could be years down the road before we see that coveted $10 mark finally reached. But we're going to be looking at, let's say, two specific things right now that are absolutely putting us on the path to hitting those levels. If you're into XRP, if you like Ripple, and it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. Let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2023 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Now, look, if you guys are brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and you're going to be earning 5% on your cash balances. Don't have to buy a single share of anything, and you're getting that 5%. If you guys want crypto, cryptocurrency exclusive exchanges where you can buy sell trade short leverage all that good stuff you've got kucoin and binance down there now kucoin and binance they offer rewards for the more active traders so the more you trade the more you're gonna earn but please be aware if you're holding on those exchanges it is gonna be considered a loan to those exchanges so if you want to mitigate that risk and make it your asset you need to hold on a cold storage or d5 wallet listen to this headline right here if it doesn't catch your attention i don't know what will major hint that Ripple could soon go the IPO route, raising hopes for XRP crossing the coveted $10 mark. Guys, there's a we're going to dis discuss the details in a second here, but there's a lot of expectations for Ripple to go public. Being a publicly traded company is going to bring in billions, if not eventually trillions of dollars into Ripple. I'm going to talk about that in a second. But a lot of people very excited about what it's going to do for XRP as well. So Ripple CEO Brad Gerlinghouse hinted back in early 2020 that an IPO was considered the natural evolution for the company. Now, most recently, Ripple has published a job posting for shareholder communications senior manager who would maintain a direct line of communication with shareholders and prospective investors. This ignited assumptions that Ripple is looking to go public and list its shares on a stock exchange. Now, we're, gonna, we're not going to go through all of those, and we're not going to discuss the rest of the details. It's a lot of speculation still. Nobody has directly said anything. It's swirling around this job posting. But nonetheless, I mean, it does look like that's the, the natural evolution, just as the CEO said. Ripple has yet to issue an official statement regarding the IPO, but Ripple's Gerlinghouse previously revealed that the company could consider going public after the case with the SEC is concluded. What do we know is going on right now with all of the SEC conclusions and the SEC losing big time and Ripple winning? The job posting comes shortly after Ripple scored a big win against the SEC. Earlier this month, a federal judge denied the SEC's motion to appeal the landmark ruling that Ripple's sale of XRP token directly to consumers did not constitute an illegally unregistered securities offering. Now, this is the part that I, I dislike here, but this is the only reference they make to that $10 mark in this article, so I'm going to expand upon it a little bit. Going public would boost Ripple's popularity and possibly drive the price of XRP to the long-desired milestone of $10 per coin. Suffice to say, whether Ripple's IPO would boom or bust for XRP is anybody's guess. Kind of leaving themselves open for that. But let's think about this for a second. Ripple, as a company, and the business and the service that they provide is its first mover advantage in this space. When you think of, of cross-border blockchain transactions, Ripple should be at the forefront of your mind. Now, the same way that Google essentially took over the search engine world, I believe that Ripple could take over the, the international finance world. Now, will they? I don't know. Right? Nobody knows what's going to happen tomorrow. Nobody can predict the future. But Ripple is positioned to, to make international finance stronger, faster, more transparent, cheaper, and more efficient. You've already got big banks signing with XRP and Ripple. You've already got big banks like JP Morgan trying to create their own cryptocurrency to compete with XRP 
You've got governments across the world looking at XRP and, and how they make up their blockchain to potentially mirror that with a CBDC or central bank digital currency. So yes, that $10 mark puts Ripple around a trillion dollar valuation. Trillion dollar valuations in our day and age are reserved for companies like Apple and Google and Amazon and maybe Tesla. These first movers are these large just, uh, you know, companies that really upend their markets and lead the way. I do believe that Ripple could do that. Now, is that going to mean that XRP trades at a trillion dollar valuation? I'm unsure. It could absolutely mean that Ripple's stock trades at a trillion dollar valuation. So if people leave XRP to buy Ripple stock, it could have a negative impact on the overall price. If it brings popularity to XRP, it could have a very strong impact on the price in a positive way. Now, that's not the only thing going on with Ripple and XRP right now. We got a little bit of a boost since yesterday. Over the last 24 hours, the SEC drops claims against two Ripple Labs executives. I'm not going to read through this entire article here, but it says the United States Securities and Exchange Commission dropped claims against two Ripple Labs executives in a lawsuit alleging that the blockchain company violated U.S. securities law, according to a court filing in New York yesterday. The agency said, well, Thursday, sorry, the agency said court papers, uh, the agency said in court papers that it's dropping claims against Ripple's CEO, Brad Gerlinghouse, and co-founder, Chris Larson, as they aided embedded sales of the cryptocurrency XRP, which a judge has found amounted to unregistered sales of securities. And in the then it goes back on to, to quote the... Miss Torres or Mrs. Torres in the decision to for, for Ripple to win the case against the SEC a few months ago. And, and this is all positive news, guys. This is coming at a time when cryptocurrency is facing, hopefully, the end of the crypto winter, the end of the bear market, and the beginning of the bull market. Will all of these things lead Ripple to that $10 mark or lead XRP to that $10 mark? No, it's going to take a lot more than that. It's going to take them building a trillion dollar business to finally get there. And I truly believe that they are on their path. So I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. I think yes, but I want to know if you guys agree or disagree. Do you think that XRP will one day reach that $10 price point? Let us know. And of course, if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 everywhere. 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble, KuCoin, and Binance, free Discord. Until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day. Let's get started.